Right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. A weekly general tarot reading April 13th to April 19th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a, a personal reading with me, <laughs> uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are interested in tarot and you like the way I read, you can sign up for my classes on online or hype classes that is where I'm going to explain you uh, at least in the in the initial one which is the beginners class the major arcanas in their romantic representation uh, career representation positive negative and as well how they stand into a, a particular spread there is also a video of a trail of the course, which is here on the uh, on the YouTube channel as well, if you're interested in having a look at it. So that being said, moving to the very first card in the spread that represents the topic of your week, Aries, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles, <clears throat> followed by the next one, which stands as the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be the King of Swords. Moving next, it is... Uh, it is the challenge that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That will be the two of pentacles, <clears throat> followed by the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here. We do have a person that will be the king of pentacles. And uh, afterwards, it is the uh, impression that you are leaving into the people around. That is going to be the full card. And the final one that represents the guidance that is addressed to you from Taro for throughout the week. We have the eight of uh, the eight of cups. Okay, so this uh, this week for you, uh, it's uh, it's a week of a certain breakthrough that you are to establish, and uh, that breakthrough doesn't come up straight away to you in a sense of like you know all of a sudden. Uh, that being said. For the reason being of the energies of the King of Swords, now those energies here are going to make you think really hard what you can do in these certain situations in terms of career or in terms of a relationship or maybe both, you know, into the entirety of your life. Now that is due to the fact that the King of Swords always, it, or the energies of the King of Swords, they always provoke a very, very effective measures and very effective actions. But those measures and those actions are a, as a result of careful analysis over the situation itself, being career or being a, a, a relationship type of a situation. However, uh, those energies are also going to make you more ruthless than, uh, than the usual type you are. What I mean is that at the end of the day, you are to be on the on the standpoint that you will have to do it no matter what. That's very typical for the King of Swords because the King of Swords cares only about the how can I say it? The well-oiled machine called life and whatever serves it, its purpose, it's welcome to stay. Whatever does not serve its purpose, it has to go. Not just it's welcome to go, but it has to go as well. So <clears throat> The week itself, to me, by looking just at the uh, at the energy card, it is a week where you Aries are gonna start thinking of what you can use and how you can use it in terms of career and relationship, uh, and how to transform it into something quite effective. Uh, despite how can I say, it? despite whether someone likes it or doesn't like it at all. Needless to say, as well that those energies are gonna strive you for a domination. Uh, a good position amongst the rest around you so you are you can't expect the very least at the end of the day to be much more respected than in previous states of yours which leads us to the situation itself here that it is to be the eight of pentacles so once you identify the right course of actions like we said careful analysis over the resources and over the situation itself i know what to use and how to transform it into an effective actions in order to push your things through then you are to take on to those uh, activities with huge portion of conscientiousness here with the end of, with the eight of pentacles babysitting all of the circumstances around it's it's like almost like the emperor exerting control but with the emperor the exert of control has its struggles while here 
you ain't gonna have struggle it, that is due to your meticulous performance and uh, that itself is going to allow you to initiate a plan that took a long time to develop so whatever you have you have things of you want to do in terms of business you know or in terms of career you didn't have the chance up until now or it's kind of like the circumstances have not been as not beneficial but uh, as a yeah it's not the word it's not productive as well oh my god just jump out of my mind the circumstances was were not as pleasable as possible if i may say it that way as well you know not aligned as well as you would like them to align so they can be aligned uh you alone are going to force your own circumstances and that will allow you to start initiating that plan <coughs> i'm sorry now on a more practical level with the eight of pentacles especially for those that are single and with the king of swords uh, the, this week is going to uh, make you identify why you are single, what you can do to change that and therefore start doing those effective, taking those effective measures to um, start attracting people around. Same thing about business, you are to identify why your business sucks, if it does sucks and therefore what you can do in order to improve it and attending it with a conscientiousness in and the keen eye for the details in it, attending to those details, nurturing nurturing them and babysitting them, being able to stabilize and even more spur out on it, like initiating, like said, a plan that took a long time to develop. So that leads us to the next card, which stands as the challenges that you will have to overcome here. Uh, that is to be the Two of Pentacles. And it, I will sound a little bit of a contradictory here. The card says that not all everything is going to go as a planned. In a sense of that, it's not the things, uh, the things are not going to meet your expectations. The things that it's not like the things are not going to meet your expectations. It is just there are to be a surprising event or surprising circumstances which are coming as an addition to what you have expected okay so whatever you have expected and whatever you're working for is happening but also there are even more things that are adding into it and with the two of pentacles you are to find it challenging difficult and you are to struggle how to fit those additional circumstances additional means you know uh, god bless that to be additional funds say you know into the plan that you have already initiating here with the first couple of cards now the advice of the card it is that one needs to be very agile very adaptable uh to be capable of let go of certain concepts that are outdated for the current situation so it's kind of like as the situation changes your concepts and your um, ability to to capitalize on needs to change as well uh, uh, reciprocally to the situation also so do not be stubborn it's what the card points you know if someone gives you something there is no need to to deny it okay or if the circumstances arise that you have not expected you should not look at them as a setback but instead you should look at them as an opportunity to develop even more i'm not saying further i'm saying more because they are to give you a small adaptation small changes here and there that will that will serve like a branches okay and you can develop those branches after you are done with the main goal of yours that is signified by the eight of pentacles so what you can uh, the gifts and blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here we have the king of pentacles you're definitely not going to be alone in this uh, there is someone who is observing you and it's more and more becoming convinced that you do deserve their blessing and oh my god their blessing guys it's it's everything you need not just everything you want it but everything you need because this is what the nature of the king of pentacles is they are usually very very self-absorbed people okay they are uh, it's kind of like they're very proud of what they have achieved throughout life and they think that not everybody deserves the same blessing or or the same the same prosperity it's kind of like the same success okay but for one or another reason here throughout this week uh, it looks like that they becoming that they are becoming more and more convinced that you do deserve their good fortune to be shared with you as well now um 
on a bit, little bit of a negative note, you got to know that they also expect something in return. That is always true with the King of Pentacles. They will give you, but they will expect you to give back as well. And as it is a gift and blessing, their expectations may be uh, revolving around things that you are finding unsubstantial. Now, I, I will try to explain it with an example. So that could be a person who decides to help your business just so can see your competition burn all right so they do not get directly from you but they are getting from the circumstances that are a collateral results of your progress uh, i'm saying that because what whatever the king of pentacles does for you here throughout the week that person it's not a charity they're not doing it from the goodness of their heart they're doing it because they have something to gain and therefore you should not feel like you owe them anything okay that, that's my point so what's uh will be the impression of the people around that you are going to incorporate we have the full card uh the full card here it's uh, a bit of an awkward place it's because people will see you carefree okay people will see you like you you lack obligations and it's like you do not care if i may say it that way and you are open to research and reconnoiter while the situation it's not that way so people will have completely wrong impression into you and therefore you may expect that you are to be misunderstood by many almost all around you except that king uh, except that king of pentacles now with the full card it's just people will kind of like take it you as a very immature with uh, a person with a very immature approach toward uh, their life which is not true sadly so uh, i guess that throughout this week uh you iris are going, are, are going to understand you know who really has a belief and faith in you and who really places their hopes in you and who are there just to enjoy the show and uh, the last one, it is the guidance that Tsaru is offering you, Aries. We do have the Eight of Cups. And uh, the Eight of Cups points that uh, there is a fresh, a fresh wind coming. And that fresh wind is going to regard to the analysis you make and the initiation you take. However, the Eight of Cups also points that there are to be some things that you have to leave behind as well. Things, in a, things which are not contributing well for your improvement and they do, they're simply not compatible with your, with your progress at that particular point, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. And uh, I just, you gotta take them as a misfortunate circumstances that there is nothing that can be done for them and therefore you have to leave them behind so you can embark on a brighter perspective. Now, that is very broad to be said. So let me try to follow up, uh, follow it up with a, a certain example. Um, let's follow the narrative of you being single and you are kind of like identifying why uh, and what can improve that state being attracting people when you start doing it here. The guidance points that there are certain aspects into your behavior that are reposing people around and you are going to identify which those aspects are and you have to leave them behind so it's the, the card serves more as a confirmation that you should not feel bad that you have to readjust okay but instead do it gladly because it will lead just for it toward a like the card says a brighter horizons brighter perspectives so that being said, Aries, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for a April 13th to April 19th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are interested into learning tarot and you like the way I read tarot cards, you can sign up for my online classes where I'm going to um, describe you, not just only describe you, but... Um, teach you how to interpret the cards in um, relationship narrative, uh, in career narrative, in 
negative narrative, in positive narrative, uh, and how they stand in a dedicated spread in the, that it is meant for the purpose of the classes as well, that you can use. By the way, that is a spread that I use 90% of the time. So yeah, that being said, hopefully you're going to stay safe now, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.